Hi and welcome back to the channel and another video here in the Lake District National Park. Today I've parked in the National Trust Stickle Barn and the Langdale Car Park in Great Langdale. The starting point of my three day, two night hiking adventure and it begins with an immediate ascent up to the Langdale Pikes via Stickle Tarn. So, setting off from the car park, I follow the path up Stickle Gill. I took the high path over Tarn Crag, which avoids the crowded lower path. Eventually the two paths meet at the cascading stream that spills from Stickle Tarn. It was fairly busy at Stickle Tarn, even at this time of the year. I can't imagine how crowded it must get in the summer. After a snack and a sip of water, it's time to move on round the right hand side of the tarn. With carrying a large pack I opted for the easy gully on the right hand flank of the Langdales. A nice gentle scramble. Once at the top you're greeted with the first peak, Pavey Arc, then slowly making my way along the top, up and down the various summits until finally I reach my first night's camping pitch. Now finally I get to put my pack down and this is going to be my pitch for the night. I stopped earlier at a stream just before I got to the pike of Stickle and filled up with water. But just look at these views, what an amazing sunset, speaking of which I better get this tent up. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm uh, I've just pitched up my tent. Uh, I'm just at the back of pike of stickle on the Langdale pikes. Now uh, the reason why I haven't done much recording is I've packed all my microphones, I've packed my shotgun mic, I've, I've packed me um, I've packed 
me wireless mics. The only thing I haven't packed left in the car is the leads. So I'm pretty much knackered. Like. <laughs> so all me recording for this video is going to be like post. So you'll, uh, it'll be the video will be a little bit different. Not to worry. But anyway, the views up here are fantastic. I'm going to take you try and show you around. So there you go, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> yeah so I'm going to get my tent set up, I'm going to get my sleeping bag out, get everything ready before it gets dark, it's much easier when it's lighter, and then I'm going to um, have a nice cup of, I was going to have a cup of coffee, have a nice hot chocolate, but I did at last minute decide to bring up some Captain Morgan's spiced rum, so one is going to get rather tipsy tonight didn't buy this because I either drink it or I carry it tomorrow so I'll probably drink half of it and carry half of it for tomorrow night so I'll sleep tonight I've got a little bit of coke to have with that um, tea's just going to be some um, bockfirsts and some noodles and maybe a bit of a biscuit or something but that is it uh, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get stuff up, get ready, and I'll get back to you. Have another chat. <laughs> to the audio but all packed up now um, there you go leave no trace just uh, see where I've been lying uh, it's a bit claggy I'm hoping it clears up where I get from there. Hopefully I want to do um, S Pike, Poor Fell, Crinkle Crags, come somewhere around there. Let's see what I've got. Yeah. Fair bit plaggy. <laughs> So I haven't got any microphones, like I said, I forgot half the stuff to make them work. So I'm carrying them for nothing. Anyway, it's not very windy. Um, so you should be able to hear us. Uh, so I'm on my way down to Angleton from uh, the Langdale Pikes, which was epic. Um, I didn't get much drone footage I did earlier on because uh, a bit windy. I 
it seems all right now, so I might actually do a bit now. And then we'll see. It's a bit later on. Yeah. So I had breakfast, I had a nice cup of coffee. I had some uh, porridge. Uh, golden syrup porridge. Oats. Um, which was nice and I've got a, a book of a sausage thing there um, Maxson's but uh, didn't, wasn't feeling it like so I'll probably have that in a bit when, I, when my appetite comes back because um, I ate well last night so I didn't really need it but I will later on because that's what happens when I have uh, porridge oats and anybody else but I'm hungry like in half an hour or an hour's time um, I prefer heavy fats and coatings when I'm walking. Um, carbs don't really. It's nice to have a little sugar boost. But I prefer them protein bars when I'm walking. The last thing to last longer. I don't know the mechanics of it all, but it works. So that's Langstrath Beck. Um, and if you go down there, and you'll eventually get the black moss pot uh, been there a couple of times um, never when I can swim because it's either been flooded or or it's just too cold <laughs> and I would never get warm again good that's Langstrath Beck um, it's a big valley it goes down to Stone Thread and Ross Thread but we're not going that way we're going to head up to Esk House which is a big like a big junction of paths uh, and you can go over to up to Great End um, Ill, Ill Crag, Broad Crag and Scarfell Pike Eventually I made my way to Angle Tarn this section of the uh, hike is uh, quite boggy and uh, monotonous and I did find myself getting lost and I and, uh, ended up losing the path. But not to worry, eventually I found it and managed to get to Angle Town. So I'm nearly at Angle Town on the way up to Esk House. Uh, the path that's marked Take no notice because there is no path and it's boggy as hell. It's a nightmare. Not enjoyable whatsoever. But I'm almost there now. Just gotta go up here. And then just over the top of there and then I'll be there. But uh very claggy. No visibility. <laughs> it's quite mild though. Anyway, I'll go up here and I'll get back there. Would you look at that? There's the path. Oh, my map reading skills are horrific. Angle Tarn. I've just uh, topped up my water. Um, and I've had uh, my sausage I was talking about earlier. Which I couldn't eat for my breakfast because I didn't want it. But I've had that now. Uh, I just have an energy bar. Yeah, a drink, drink of water. And then Set back off again. It's only half past nine, so I'm making good time. Should get the crinkle crags by the night. <laughs> Hopefully.
So now I'm at my esk house and I'm just sitting in the shelter now. I'm gonna take time to have a snack and some uh, water. And then it's on to Esk Pike. It's quite uh, spookily quiet. This is a S-Pike. Oh, you could see it a minute ago. From Esk-Pike, I made my way to Bowfell, and uh, once again, I did manage to get lost, but not to worry, I did find my way eventually uh, to the summit of Bowfell. So this is the top of Bore Fell and I can see nothing. <laughs> I thought it would clear up but it hasn't. But anyway, it's another being right knocked off. I can't see anything. A bit, a bit of a harsh environment up here as well. So I'm going to have get up the wind and then we'll have some water and uh, uh, some things. So next up after both fell is Crinkle Crags and I did find this rather difficult. It was very hard to navigate in the clag and uh, it's not something I would recommend. It would definitely be more enjoyable in the summer where you're going to get to see the amazing views which unfortunately I didn't get to see. Crinkle crags. Crinkle crags, the top. <laughs> the other one was a full sun. <sighs> Beautiful views from up here. After Crinkle crags, I eventually made it to my second night's camping pitch at Red Tarn. By this time it was very late and getting dark and I was so exhausted I put my tent up and basically went to sleep. I'm sorry you didn't hear much from us from last night. 
I basically got um, past over crinkled crags and then uh, down from there and I found a little tarn and it was probably around about quarter to four, ten to four. It was just starting to get dark and I was absolutely exhausted. I put up on the screen what I'd done, I mean, how many miles, altitude and which peaks I'd done, but it was more than what I'm used to and I'm just, I was just knackered, I was absolutely knackered. So I just basically put my tent up, uh, had a cup of hot chocolate and a, uh, and a sausage and then I went to sleep at around about five o'clock and I slept all the way through, I woke up about 12 o'clock and then uh, I woke up about 12 o'clock and uh, had a, a, a trek at bar <laughs> and then went back to sleep and basically woke up about five o'clock so I decided to practice me uh, nighttime descent with a torch because I've, I've only done that once and it was, wasn't under control um, so I thought I'd practice it for good measure for the next time when I have, actually have to. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody else has got any tips for this, but I don't know for a little while. So I knew it was going to be getting light soon, but it was still dark. And uh, it was all right. Yeah, I did go a new torch for that. Uh, not a good, not a brilliant one, but it's uh, not an expensive one, I should say. I think it's pretty good. Uh, one from Decathlon. Uh, and I used that. That was pretty good. I'm alright. So I'm just making my way down to the car. I was going to do like a bliss school, but there's absolutely no point because I'm exhausted and it's just the weather's horrendous. I'm not going to see nothing. I didn't see anything from Crinkle Crags, which is Crinkle Crags, by the way, when it's craggy, it's extremely difficult to navigate. Um, but Crinkle Crags, I saw nothing. Uh, poor fella saw absolutely nothing. S Pike, I did see a little bit. I'll be on the video. Saw a little, a little bit, not much. Um, but from Langdale Pikes, it was quite a, quite a hike. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, drop a comment if you like. Uh, I always answer because um, I don't get many comments <laughs> but I always answer if you enjoyed it, if you've got any ideas of what I should do to make the videos better just nearly fell over there uh, I'm not putting any more of that in <laughs> but uh, please comment I do answer all the comments because I don't get many <laughs> but uh, if you've got any suggestions on how I can make the videos better obviously this time the weather couldn't fly me drone much um, and I was exhausted last night I just couldn't be up <laughs> couldn't be bothered <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching bye